So this is my fourth week bump date. Yay! So um, I want to try and do a video every week during this pregnancy. I feel like it's really happening. It feels really weird doing a video like this. It um, almost doesn't feel like I should be. It feels like I'm kind of an imposter and um, but I'm pregnant so I guess that that counts. Um, so I got my uh, I got a call just a few like maybe 10 minutes ago from my doctor. I had my second beta blood test this morning and it was 6708. So huge jump from Friday. My last one, my first one was on Friday, which was 987. So that took a huge jump in like since Friday, which has been what, like three days, I think. Yeah. So, um, doctor said the numbers are looking like record breaking. She said, um, they're really, really going up very, very fast. So, um, she said, you know, things are looking good. I asked her, does that mean twins? And she said, maybe or maybe not. Um, she's obviously has done this for a really long time. She sees numbers daily, and she said she's seen singletons at that high of a number when people put two in. So um, she said, maybe, it could be. She's seen twins with lower betas. So it's very all over the board. Um, but... I don't know, I'm not really gonna get my hopes up on twins. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm of course more than happy to have two. I, I, I'm, I feel grateful and blessed with whatever I am given. Um, so yeah, one or two, I will take it. I'll, I'll be more than grateful. Uh, so yeah, my um, first OB ultrasound appointment is in, um, she said two weeks, but actually, um, it's going to be on the 26th, which is next Friday, will be my first ultrasound, and they should be able to see the fetal pole. They said they should see heart um, cardioactivity. Um, she said that you might not be able to see a, uh, hear a heartbeat yet. You might be able to or might not. They'll be able to tell me how many are in there. So next Friday is a big, big, huge day for me. It's a day that I have looked forward to for so long is seeing a baby inside my body um, in a heartbeat that just, it's, it's, like it's so unreal to me it doesn't feel real so uh, that is going to be a really emotional appointment um, I feel like I'm going to just cry um, or I might be in shock I don't really know how I'm going to handle it um, I'm going to try and record the first ultrasound um, but I'm not sure how they feel about recording I feel like they're pretty relaxed there I think they should be fine with it so I'm gonna have Ryan he's going with me to my first ultrasound and I'm gonna try and have him record everything so they're usually pretty cool about that stuff um, so I will be posting that next Friday but um, yeah I've been getting lots of amazing comments from all you guys um, twins a lot of people are saying twins so we'll see I definitely have been feeling some symptoms. Um, my mom actually, I have twin brothers, so my mom was pregnant with uh, twins. And she, I mean, a lot of people said you get more sick with twins, but I don't really believe that. I've read all kinds of things online, you know, the things that you feel when pregnant. And really, everyone's so different. My mom never had a sick day with both my brothers when she was pregnant with twins. She was more sick with me. <laughs> so, um... She said that she was just really tired, and yeah, so I hear that sometimes you take after your mom and how she was with her pregnancies, so I'm hoping I have somewhat of a smooth ride like she did with her twins, if I'm having twins, um, and then I have a friend that had twin girls, and she never had a sick day, so um, I hear that you can have twins and not be super sick. Everyone keeps telling me, oh, you're going to be really sick, but... Um, I'm trying not to listen to that because I've been hearing opposite stuff online. So everyone is so different with pregnancies. I try not to listen to everyone's story. That was kind of a problem I had before. Like I'd hear horror stories and I'd be like, oh my God, I don't want to get pregnant. So I've learned in the last few weeks to not listen to how other people's pregnancies went because every pregnancy is so different. Everyone experiences different things. Um, my mom had pretty easy pregnancies, so I'm just, uh, 
I'm just taking it day by day and you know whatever gets thrown my way I am I got it I got it so I've definitely been experiencing some symptoms um, one of the major ones I've noticed is I'm tired um, I took two naps three naps yesterday I think uh, I woke up this morning at 7.45 for my blood draw, got home, and I slept for another three hours. That's just not like me. I usually, when I'm up, I'm up. I don't really take lots of naps in the day. Um, indigestion, that's another one. Um, I was at my parents' house the other day for Mother's Day, and I took a nap on the, on the couch with, like, five people sitting around me. So that's definitely been weird. Um, I've been kind of dizzy almost like vertigo feeling, um, only at night and sometimes during the day when I'm like at the store or something, I'll feel super like I don't have, I'm not grounded. It's really weird. So I'm experiencing dizziness. Um, I haven't got any food aversions really. Um, I have gotten some weird sensitivity to smell. I was in the store yesterday and I went by where all the roasted chickens are and chicken has like a, a smell to it. I love chicken. I've always been a chicken eater. But I smelt it. I had to like book it to the checkout line. At it. it was like, oh. so um, chicken sounds disgusting to me. So maybe that's my first aversion. Eggs sound disgusting. Um, I have a craving for meat, beef. I've never been a beef eater. I've never liked steak. I've never liked bloody beef. It's just always been so gross to me. Um, my whole family was beef eaters. I never liked it. Um, but the last three nights I've, I've made uh, shredded beef. I went and got Five Guys hamburger. I, I got the protein burger because I don't eat um, bread. Um, so I got it and wrapped in a lettuce. That was amazing. Um, beef, can't get enough of it. So that's, I guess, a craving I'm having. Um, but let me stick to the symptoms first. Um, what else? I'm peeing a lot. I've, I've got some little bouts of nausea. Um, that first weekend, the night, the weekend that I found out I was pregnant um, with my pregnancy test, I had this one night of just really nauseous, but I think it was from my sinus infection, um, and it never came back. All last week I felt great, um, and then I think it was Friday night after my um, nephew's birthday party, my last video. I remember I was talking and I wasn't feeling very good. That night was kind of a rough night. I was pretty nauseous, but like not pukey nauseous, just like crappy feeling, almost like a hungover feeling. Um, it kind of feels fluish feeling. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'm feeling it a little bit today. It's not super bad. Um, but I'm just, I'm trying not to get too worried about it, you know, whatever happens to me, nothing I can do about it, and it just is, it is also a reassurance that babies are growing, um, it's good to have symptoms, so hopefully, um, it's gonna be pretty smooth this first transfer, or this first, <laughs> this first trimester, hopefully it's gonna be pretty smooth, um, like I said, I'm not listening to a lot of people's experiences because everyone is different. So um, some people were scaring me with some of their stories and I was like, oh, but I just get freaked out. <laughs> so I'm trying to just focus on myself and what my experience is going to be and it's not going to be like everyone else's. So um, yeah, just to get the anxiety part out of it because I have been feeling a little anxious. I do have, I do suffer from anxiety. Um, so I'm definitely dealing with that a little bit. I had a little bit of an anxiety attack last night. Not bad, but, um, yeah, I just kind of freaked out. I felt a little overwhelmed by everything going on and I got scared and, um, and it got, I'm, I'm I got scared that it was going to get taken away, you know, and, um, my husband just sat me down he called me down and he said, you are pregnant and you're going to get through this and you're fine and, so that was my first little panic attack. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just going to be one of those things I have to take day by day and just enjoy it and appreciate it and know that at the end of this road is going to be a little baby and that that is all I need to hear. So um, 
that's all my symptoms, uh, cravings I just told you, beef, um, I'm craving salty things, savory things, um, I ate avocado, which I love avocados, and I was eating one today, and I was like, oh, it just tasted gross, so avocados might be an aversion, I don't know, I know that these, these things are going to get more intense down the road, so it's going to be interesting, I'm already having some weird little things happen to me. Um, I had something happen where my husband left to San Francisco last week and he forgot to take the trash out into the road, our trash can, so they were full the whole week and I couldn't take my trash in our trash can in our kitchen. And so, sorry, I'm like belching right now. Um, so I had to tie it up and put it into our garage because there's no room for it in our trash cans in the side yard. So it started stinking up the house. And that's happened before. That's happened before, um, where it stunk up the, the downstairs of my house. So I, whenever I went downstairs, I was like, oh, it smells so bad. So I kind of like yelled at my husband. I'm like, you have got to be on top of trash can duty during this pregnancy. Trash smells so bad. And, um, he even, he has his motorcycle parked in the garage and I told him he needs to take it to work because the gas from the motorcycle, sometimes it leaks a little bit. I can smell it. It's kind of, and I've never felt it before. The motorcycle's always been there. So yeah, smells I guess are starting to kind of hit me a little bit, not too bad. Um, that was kind of something funny that happened. But I'm trying to think of other things. Um, I think that's really it that's going on. Um, my first ultrasound, like I said, will be next Tuesday, so that's going to be so cool to see. Um, it, this has been just, it doesn't feel real still. It doesn't feel like there's anything growing in me. <laughs> like, once I see that bump, I think I'll be, um, like, it will hit me that I'm for sure pregnant. <laughs> so, I'm so excited for that bump to start showing. Uh, I don't know if I should start showing you my stomach yet. Maybe I'll start a little bit later on. Obviously, there's no bump. Um, so I'll probably wait a little bit at least. Or do you want me to show my stomach? I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys want to see from these bump dates, what you guys want to hear, and I will incorporate them into the videos. So um, I think that's it. I don't want to shatter you guys' your heads off, so I'm going to end it at that. Everything's obviously looking really good. Um... I continue to pray and, and just stay super calm and keep that anxiety away. Um, <clears throat> I continue to do acupuncture, which really helps me stay um, calm and relaxed, and it also helps with symptoms. Um, I'm doing, a, I'm seeing a chiropractor, and he's been doing adjustments on me, which they're totally safe. I had I had a few people say, "Don't go to a chiropractor," but it's my guy knows what he's doing. He's he's worked with pregnant women before, so um, he's been a lifesaver going through this whole process of IVF. So it really does make a difference to get if you have a kink in your neck, like all of a sudden your headaches go away, or your you have some kind of intestinal issues going on, and your, it goes away after like a weird little um, you know he sets something to how it's supposed to be. So it's, it's just, it's weird. I, I really recommend doing, seeing a chiropractor doing IVF and all this stuff. And acupuncture, I of course highly recommend acupuncture. Um, I feel like that's the reason why this has been so su successful. So um, if you're going to be doing IVF, definitely look into uh, um, acupuncture. I can't talk right now. Um, so yeah. Definitely make sure that whoever is doing it knows what they're doing because I've been to some acupuncture people and they don't know what they're doing. Um, my lady that I found is really good. She's like fourth generation acupuncturist. So um, do your research. I actually have, I think, one follower that follows me on here and she lives in the town close to me. Um, and she started seeing my acupuncturist and I think she's going to my fertility clinic too. So I think there's a couple people that follow me that go to my fertility clinic, which is really cool. I think they have Dr. Chuan. That's my doctor. So, um, pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, you guys, that's it. 
I, of course, like I always say in all my videos, I do all kinds of updates on my Instagram. Follow me on there if you haven't. It's dreaming of conceiving, all one word. So follow me, follow me on there. I will do lots of little updates and all kinds of little extras on there. So um, that's it. Subscribe to me if you have not already. Obviously, this is going to start getting fun and I, I have a few little video ideas I want to do um, coming up. I'm doing a review on this line for going through first trimester and dealing with the symptoms with that. Um, the lady that made this product is called Pink Stork, by the way. I'm sure some of you have heard of it, but the lady that made it, she went through HG hyperemesis, hyperemesis um, gravidarum. I don't know how to say it, but it's HG. It's the intense morning sickness. So I started taking it her whole protocol before I got pregnant just to make my chances less of get, going through crazy morning sickness. So I'm going to be doing a review on that whole line. I'm already noticing huge differences with it. Um, if you go on Amazon, it's sold on there. That's where I get all the stuff. It's also sold at Target now. Um, but sh this lady that made the line, she went through three pregnancies with HG. In her fourth one, she used her line and she had no symptoms. It totally helped her symptoms. So um, I had a friend actually tell me to use it. She's like, do it before you get pregnant so that way you don't have to go through what I went through. She had HG and she won't have another child because of it. It was so bad. Um, throwing up every day for nine months. No thanks. <laughs> so she told me to do this, try this line and hopefully it could keep it at bay if I do get bad morning sickness. It also helps with sleeping and anxiety and keeping you calm. There's a magnesium spray that is like phenomenal. So um, I'm gonna do a whole review video on that line. Um, so that way if you guys are interested, you wanna avoid morning sickness, I think everyone wants to avoid that, um, maybe you can try it. Um, if it works for me, that'll be great. So. So far I'm feeling good, I'm feeling energized, no constipation issues, it also helps with that, the whole line. Um, so I'm excited to use it and try it, and yeah, so that's it. I'm going to stop rambling, I talk way too much, I'm sorry. So, um, I will do my next video, probably, I don't know, I'm going to think of something, I'm, I'm going to do a review on that, and then I want to do a video on, I, some people have been asking me what did I do different this time around with my, this second transfer being so successful, so I want to do a video on that, and then I also want to do a video on, in the life of me, some people have wanted me to do like a vlog video of what I do in a day, so um, yeah, I'll do that, I'll incorporate, you know, some of the things that I do that are helping me feel good um, during this first trimester, and um, yeah, I'm not very good at vlogging. I've tried vlogging before and I'm not very good at it, so <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to do it, but I'm going to try it and see. So be looking for those videos in the future, um, and that's it. I'm going to end the video now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.